the switch on my Spectrum radio broke. We're going to replace it next. Stay tuned to learn how. My Spectrum radio broke when I went to arm my motors and the switch just snapped right off. It's really shocking. Who would have thought that would have happened? And as you can see, this is my switch A and there's nothing there. So to get through the day, I just moved over to switch H. But that's not really a good solution. I need A back. So I called Spectrum and, well, the radio's over two years old. And they said, well, we charge $15 an hour to fix it plus the shipping. So I figured that's about a $50 bill to get this fixed plus seven to 10 days of lost flying because I won't have a radio. If you're out of warranty and you like to fix things like I do, stay tuned. We're going to try to switch this out ourselves and put a brand new switch in. So how did I find the right switch? Well, you can't go to Spectrum. They won't sell it. They'll only put their own switch in themselves. They won't give it to you. So I did some searching around and I found this, an FR Sky switch. This is exactly the same paddle switch, even down to the color and the three connectors. And this, I'm hoping, will work perfectly well. And because if one switch is going to go, another is. So we have a three-way switch here. And while I was at it, I found a three-way switch of the same kind with the same stick. We got the stick. We got the paddle. So let's go open up the Spectrum Radio and try this out. And, and by the way, here's a disclaimer. I've never done this before. This is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you. I've watched a few YouTube videos. I read some articles. I did my research on switches. And this should work. So cross your fingers. Let's see if we can get this done. The first thing we need to do is, of course, remove the battery. Now, I did a little mod on here to put in oversized battery. I'm just going to disconnect that and put that aside. The next thing that we need is the box because we want a nice space to work on. So if I open up the box and find the correct side, I believe that's the correct side, I can take my radio and when I'm working I can set it down like that. Now I'll hold it nice and secure while I remove the screws. You, know, you want a screwdriver with a nice big tip like that. And I see we have several screws. Let's start unscrewing to open it up. So I hope you still have your box. If you don't, maybe you can find a piece of egg crate or something. You know, that nice foamy stuff that we use to sleep on. And I hope these are the right screws. Because if they're not, I don't know what to do next. So, as like I said, I'm making this up as I go along. It seems logical to me that these would be the right screws. Don't do the screws on the front. I believe those are just for the gimbals. up here. So there's a total of two, four, six, eight screws. Let's see, is that come loose now? Oh, I just realized I have this label here. I made this nice label I'm going to have to peel off. I like this label too my channel selection guide. So you too make sure you don't have anything that's keeping these two pieces of the case together. Let's see if we can separate the oh I see we have this here too. Ooh. I guess I have to pry that open. See if my fingernails will work on that. Okay. That's just a little glue. Oh, that piece comes all the way around. Put that back. That was a mistake. Don't peel the sides off. I'll have to fix that later. Okay, let's see if it looks like the sides go all the way around that way. Let's see if we can get this open. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. 
There we go. And there is one wire here. One wire to be careful with. What is this wire? Oh, that's the receiver wire. Let's see. It goes around there. So let's take that out of that little clip. And that seems... Oh, there goes the screws. Good, 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 good. I want to get those out while I'm there. Let's go put them in the magnetic tray. So far, so good. Okay, now we have access, and I see the broken switch there. I want to try and do as little as I need to to take care of this. So I'm going to take something just to support the top of the frame. This is looking good. As we said, we have these red switches, and they're still red. And I'm going to unscrew this somehow. I'm going to try to use, use my fingernail. Maybe I should have done this before I opened it. But we've got these, uh, I never did like these little paddle things. Because I don't have the tool to unscrew it. Okay, that was pretty easy. It's coming right off. You've got to hold the switch with one finger while you unscrew it with the other. There we go. That switch should just slide out. And there's a little wash. There's two washers on top. So I'm going to save that. The other one is stuck there. So let's save that. I want to be careful we don't move those wires. All right, so this switch, let's see if it's exactly the same see thing. This. The original switch says on, on, and there's a YF there. Let's turn this around, and look at that. 2 amp, 250 volt, 5 amp, 125 VAC, the same. Uh, this is a 2 amp, and this is a 3 amp. Let's hope that doesn't make a difference. And if I see it says on, on there, and here it says on, on, also. And we have it switched with these two wires. So I'm going to make the guess that we're going to use these same two poles on this side. Also, notice it says YF here. This one says SAILCOM. And it says T80-T. So I guess that means something. Maybe we'll look that up later. While this iron is heating up, I'm going to take this cap off of the new switch and I'm going to put it over here so I know what belongs to the new switch and we're going to have to put this washer on also. Now let's just trial fit it while we're here and that fits perfectly. I am going to just put a little flux on this while I've got it. You may not need to do this but I'm going to. And we only use two poles. Do a little pre-tinning. A little easier to pre-tin this way. If you turn it a little sideways. Okay. And now we're going to take the red wire off. Red goes on top. And black goes on bottom. Okay, there's the bad switch, here's the new switch. Boom, and she's back on. And those are on nice and snug. Yep, okay. Now, I'm gonna put this washer back on. And we're going to put it right back in the hole. 
just like that. Make sure it's going the right way. Take the wa washer, the lock nut, and start twisting that down. This is a little tough because I don't have the tool it came with. So I'm just going to use my fingernail. Make it nice and snug. That looks good. Let's just make sure that that is uh, oriented the way I want. And it is. Fantastic. Okay. Let's button it back up. I'm going to put this wire back in that little clip like that. I'm going to get my box back. And let's get this feet, let's get these wires again back seated the way they want. Everything else looks good in there. Let's just slide that right back together. There's a little groove, I think. Yeah, on the side there, a little groove. Make sure it's clipped in good. All right. Very nice. Put it back and let's get our screws back in. And I'm not going to screw them all the way tight. And I'm going to do this kind of like the tire method. I'm going to kind of do it in a round robin fashion. Drop the screw in. I'm not going to do it totally tight. Just so I start to feel some resistance. And I'll give it a full tightening once I got them all in place. Okay, good. And there's our radio. Let's go stick in the battery now and uh, see how well she performs. The moment of truth. I switch my voices and let's see. Motors armed. Motor off. Motors armed. Motor off. Fantastic. You know what I got to say to Spectrum's repair bill? <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you very much. This was such an easy, stupid, simple repair. I didn't even know what I was doing. And I got it perfectly right the first time. Look, I got my A switch back. Motor's armed. Motor off. It was so easy, it was <laughs> laughable. And the funny thing is, the part I repaired it with came from FR Sky. It was, in fact, a FR Sky Tyrannus X9D two position long switch part 414. I'm going to have all the information below so you can use this for any spectrum radio that may break on you. There's no reason to send it back. It is so easy to do. I don't want to see an idiot could do it, but uh, yeah, I guess sometimes. Oh, by the way, that peeling off of the side, that was pretty easy to fix. I just used the smudger to push the nub back in. And look, good as new. You wouldn't even know I ever opened it up. Matter of fact, I don't even think Spectrum would know if you voided the warranty. It was so simple. Anyway, let me know how your repair goes. And um, I'll see you at the field in the air. I'm Joel Lightcatcher. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you get all my notices on my next video. See you soon. <laughs>